CIET NCERT presents audiobook of mathematics for class 5 entitled Math Magic 5. This is the chapter 1. Part 1. Page 1. The Fish Tail. Deep under the sea, see the lovely colored fish swimming peacefully. This special poem in three lines is called a haiku. Such poems about nature are popular in Japan. Here is another haiku. The lake, calm, smooth, still. A fish jumps up and returns. Ripples shake the lake. Do you know any poems about fish? Here are some drawings made by children. When you think of fishes, what shapes come to your mind? Try to use a square and a triangle to draw a fish. On the page, we have some pictures of different colored fishes in water. Page 2. Look for fish designs around you. On cloth, in paintings, on mats, etc. Mean means a fish and Meenakshi is a girl whose eyes look like a fish. Can you think of someone who has such eyes? Draw a face with fish eyes. Fishes can have very different sizes. The smallest fish is about one centimeter long. How long is the biggest fish you can imagine? Dash. Use the space for your answer. How many times longer is your big fish than the smallest fish? The biggest fish is the whale shark. It is actually not a whale, but is a big, big fish. Whales are different from fish. Whales breathe like we do, through their noses. But fish have no noses, and they take in water, not air. Whales give birth to babies, but fish lay eggs. The whale shark fish looks big and dangerous, but is quite harmless. It does not attack humans. In the middle of the page, we have the picture of a whale shark swimming in the ocean, surrounded by lots of small fishes. One whale shark was as long as 18 meters. Just think how long that is. Almost 12 children of your size standing one on top of the other. And guess what it weighed? Well, much, much more than what twelve of you together weigh. Its weight was about 16,000 kilograms. Page 3. About how many kilograms do you weigh? Write your answer in the blank space. So, twelve children like you put together will weigh about dash kilograms. About how much more does the whale shark weigh than twelve children like you put together? Dash. Write your answer in the blank space. The fish tail. To see the difference between whales and fish, look carefully at their tails. Can you see that the fish tail stands flat along its body, but the tail of the whale almost looks like two legs? Can you spot the fish in the picture? Below this we have a picture with whales and fish. Schools of fish. Fish like to swim together in the sea in big groups called schools of fish. In their school, they feel safe 
from the bigger fish. Do you feel safe in your school? Below this we have the picture of a school of fish, wherein we see lots of small fishes swimming together. This is a thematic chapter which presents to children the world of fish and fish workers through an integrated approach. Mathematical concepts such as shapes, estimation, sense of large numbers, simple operations, speed, loans, etc. are woven into real-life contexts to allow a creative revision of some ideas learnt earlier. Page 4. To scare away the bigger fish, some small fish drink up a lot of water, swell up and look big. Below this we see the picture of a fish which has consumed lot of water and is now looking swelled up and big. Jinsi used these shapes to make drawings of fish. Now you also use some shapes to draw the different sea animals shown here. We see some shapes cut out. These are provided for you to make drawings of fish. We can also see a girl using these shapes to make a fish. Below this we have the photographs of some sea organisms with their names written under. The different creatures are sea urchin, lobster, eel, red snapper, page 5. Octopus, clam, parrotfish, prawn, cuttlefish, jellyfish, squid, silver pomfret, and crab. Which of these sea animals have you seen before? Part 1 Chapter 1 Ends Here Narrator Gaurav Marva Assistance Introduction by Soumya Malik Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India